Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your March 2024 general reading. We are looking at the first half of March, roughly from the 1st through the 15th, and this reading is for the water sign of Scorpio. That's Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you're cross watching for Scorpio, it is also relevant. Uh, it's a general reading, so of course it may resonate a little differently for everyone watching. Um, if you know your sign placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, watch those videos as well for any additional insight or introspection perspective on your personal situation. Now, if something does resonate with you, if it really hits home and you'd like to take a deeper look at something, or you simply like the reading style, if you are interested in a personal reading with me for yourself or as a gift for someone else, please feel free to email me directly. Maggie, the number one Maguire at gmail.com. You can see that contact info by clicking the description or the title of this video. I would love to hear from you. Uh, and I can usually get back to you quite quickly the same day or within the first 24 hours. With more information, I do offer a pretty wide variety of readings. Um, all areas of life, all different types, lengths, costs, styles, spreads. Uh, the 6 and 12 month overviews are still going pretty quickly right now. So lots of different things to choose from. There's something for everyone. So email me if you're interested. All right, let's move right into this reading. I am using the Deluxe Royal Tarot and clarifying with the Gilded Tarot, both by artist Ciro Marchetti. All right, let's see what's in store for Scorpio for the first half of March. Please excuse any hoarseness I have. I'm just at the tail end of recovering from this horrible respiratory thing that's been going around. I feel fine. I'm just still a bit, a little residual hoarseness there. Okay. Scorpio, we begin with the Nine of Cups. Your wish granted, your wish fulfillment. Having everything you could want. Always a bit of cautionary advice in the Nine of Cups, right? Be careful what you wish for. You might get it and then find it's not everything you thought it was going to be. Seven of Wands. I'm not giving up on my wish fulfillment, my joy, what I want more, more than anything else. Because the Seven of Wands is a card of not of holding your ground, basically about not backing down, not giving up, not settling for less than what your heart's desire is. Very strong energy to start off with, Scorpio. Next, we have the Three of Coins, which is collaboration, teamwork, everybody getting on the same page to agree towards working on building a common thing, a common goal, a common future, a common project. Everybody kind of agreeing, right? Compromise and negotiation with the Three of Swords, but it may not have worked out. This is a card of emotional pain, heartbreak, heartache, disappointment, breakup sometimes. You know, and that may be where this very assertive, strong, I'm not backing down energy is because there's uh, appears to be difficulty or even like not possible for you and somebody else to agree to come together to agree on what direction you're going in and what you want to be building together long term. This could be a personal relationship of some kind. It could be a business relationship of some kind. You know, it's about, I mean, the Three of Coins is about people working together towards a common goal, a common cause, a common thing, you know, and that requires compromise and negotiation. But with the Three of Swords, it feels like it's something that just, it just couldn't happen. But you're not, you're not giving up on, on your, you know, your heart's desire. So you're kind of working through this. Next, we have the Eight of Wands. This is fast, the Eight of Fire. This is fast action movement. Might be travel in there for some of you. Powerful conversations, Cupid's arrows. This is movement forward. It's fast. It's powerful. Um, it knows where it's going. It's very assertive. Again, might involve travel for some of you. With the Five of Cups, a card like that, Three of Swords. It's, it's grief, loss, regret. Something didn't work out. Um, it's pretty clear here with these uh, two cards. I mean, the whole theme of this reading can be summed up pretty easily in something didn't or isn't working out. You might have felt very hurt about it, very broken up about it. There might be some grief, loss, sorrow, regret. There may be decisions you made that you regret, but 
you know, we live and learn, right? But are all around that is this strong energy of I'm going to work through it. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep pushing forward. I'm going to keep pressing on. I am moving on, moving through this and beyond it. I'm not going to allow myself to sit in it. I'm not going to allow myself to wallow in it. I'm going to take what I can learn and move forward from the... <laughs> from the bottom of the deck the overall energy and focus scorpio for the first half of march is the magician who is well suited for this energy he's the self-made entrepreneur of the tarot this is somebody who knows how to because of his long road of of experience he now is in a place uh, where he has learned through trial, through error, through, I mean, he started off as an apprentice and now he's a magician. So he knows how to take all of the different elements, you know, the passions, the emotions, the intellect, the physical work, and pair them together to make what he wants, his heart's desire, manifest into physical reality. He knows how to do that very powerful reading it's like triumphing through pushing through disappointments perhaps maybe some poor decisions in the past and saying i'm not going to give up i'm not going to compromise on what is nearest and dearest to me what is most authentic to me i'm going to keep pushing forward and moving on working it out working through the hurt all right let's clarify a little bit the magician i mean i could almost leave the reading right there <laughs> right all right the magician the world a major conclusion a major cycle is coming to an end so you can move on to a brand new journey a brand new chapter the eight of wands again the sun again some of you there may be a strong travel very strong travel aspect to this others of you there's a pretty significant chapter of your life or a set of chapters of your life that have been very very significant that have come to an end a cycle is wrapping up and you're moving forward quite powerfully um, on a new path let's take a look at this nine of cups and seven of wands I'm not giving up on my my dreams here yep the emperor the emperor is the big boss card this is a card of like bossing up taking control of your life taking the reins of control of your life being responsible for your life your failures your successes the direction you're going in death endings and transformations rebirth letting go of the old and embracing the new with the eight of swords the time for saying i can't because of this and i can't because of that and i can't because i'm afraid and i can't because 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 fill in the blank is at an end you know somebody's bossing up big time here taking charge of their life like phew, like a no holds barred kind of energy let's take a look at that three of coins and three of swords very strong energy five of wands the tower the seven of wands again yeah this is like a big argument something didn't work out you guys couldn't come to agreement you couldn't see eye to eye there may have been a, a, a really big argument maybe even a bad argument um, but again there's this sense of not giving up not backing down for what you believe in what you believe is right and true and good and authentic for yourself in spite of the fact that in perhaps the short term there may be losses and sacrifices because of that but the rewards for sticking for staying true to yourself are pretty priceless and they will manifest a little ways down the road let's take a look at that eight of wands and the five of cups my goodness let me just turn this off so sorry scorpio okay all right let's take a look at this eight of wands and five of cups it again it's like there's pain here there's disappointment there's lessons learned here but you're not allowing that to hold you back or to be the excuse any longer anyway that prevents you from moving forward for sure knight of wands charging forward the knight of fire 
my goodness, the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles, that's incredible. And you have three knights here. Knights are the movers, the shakers. They have a mission and a quest, and they are single-minded, focused. They are going after it no matter what. Fire energy, passion, excitement, enthusiasm. The Knight of Swords, which is air, which is intellect. Um conversation very decisive assertive action oriented and the nine of pentacles who's a little slower a little more cautious but very detail oriented very willing to put nose to the grindstone and do the work i mean it's just absolutely phenomenal energy here very strong it's like i will survive kind of energy now i've got that song in my head okay any final messages guidance advice judgment ace of cups the hierophant the eight of cups spirit is if spirit hasn't already will be bringing you a new opportunity coming in one that may offer uh may provide an offer of tradition of stability of harmony balance and temperance it may be something conventional or something traditional or with the trappings and wrappings of that for example, in working career, it might be a good business, a good job, good corporation where, you know, good hours, good pay, good benefits, all of that. In relationship, it could be, you know, marriage and, and all the long term, the, the, on, on all of the, the physical, material, financial and emotional security that comes along with that. It will require you leaving a situation behind, though, embracing the old and stepping into the new. But from what I can see, Scorpio, um, you are... <laughs> more than determined to do that anyway and spirit is bringing in this new opportunity for you um yeah fantastic such a strong powerful reading good for you scorpio okay i'm going to leave it there scorpio those are your messages for the first half of march 2024 i hope you uh, found them useful and relevant and helpful or at least gave you something to think about uh, again, if this did resonate with you and you'd like to pull the curtain back and maybe take a deeper look at it, or you simply like the reading style, if you're interested in a personal reading with me for yourself or as a gift for someone else, please feel free to email me directly, maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can see that by clicking the description or the title of this video. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the March mid-month readings. Stay well, stay safe. Hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.